kind of happy to start playing more ACC games and whatnot. But I think it shows huge confidence in him with the coaching staff and the team believes in him when he's starting the first game today. With Ligon, which is an interesting story. Little flare to center field. That's going to drop in for a base hit. Leadoff man aboard for Canisius. And that's a big hit right there for them. It's yeah. great to join the party. Grant lines it in the right field for a base hit. Stefano had to wait, so he'll be held up at second. Back-to-back -back base knocks for Canisius College. Can be any better now? Whether or the wind rather blowing out towards left field. That's a fair baseball down the right field line. Coming home to score the first run of the regional. Mike to Stefano. And a double, an RBI for Mike Steffen. Just like that, the Griffs grab an early lead on the road. These different elements. 2-2 two -two from Ligon. Ground ball to short. They'll get the force at third. Another run scores. Coming home is Grant to make it 2-0, the first out of the inning. And how things were seated. This one served to center. Dropping back is Burke. He'll make the play easily. Slipped and fell on the track. Treating back to Andrew, the Diamondbacks and coaching for the A's in different places. So uh. served up the middle for a base hit. Fourth of the frame, and the inning continues with runners now at first and second. Second, Kraminski at first. Popped up, shallow left. Patelli will give way to his left fielder, Viegas, for the final out. They're pretty deep, uh, deep lineup, they have a lot of depth. First pitch, Kafus sends it to left center and a leaping grab by DeStefano. One pitch, one out. Was blowing out towards left center earlier. Fly ball lifted to right. Vincent tracking. Wynn may have got it. He lost the handle and it's gone. Wow, that was impressive. A moonshot by Morales. Home run number 15 and the Canes are on the board. That's a really big hit right there for Miami. You know, Duffy did a great job of getting the first two guys out. And, you know, you got your, your heart and soul, the team Morales coming up there and then hitting a, a big home run right there in the moment. So that's big for the, the Hurricanes dugout right now. Big time for the U and a bounce back run after giving up two in the top of the first. One more look. Little oppo jack. And that's something that makes Morales so special where he's he's got pull to pull power, you know. And we mentioned that because the humidity right now at about a thousand percent and that ball drilled out of the ballpark in a hurry. Talk about swinging a hot bat. His magnificent run continues. His sixth home run of the year. And Kanisha's back in front by two. Yeah, he's going to sweat a little bit more right now running around the bases. But like we talked about, he's got tremendous pop and, and it's an advantage when your nine hole hitter can hit home runs. And he took advantage of a three one pitch right there and hit it out of the ballpark. And so this is going to be crucial for him to see how long he lasts. Through the hole into center field for a base hit. Gonzalez runs over quickly to retrieve it. Getting loose. And Grant reaches the first walk issued by Ligon. Dancing around right behind Gallo. This one laced into right field. That'll fall for a base hit. Rounding third and coming home is to Stefano. The throw made. It comes in late. He slides in safely. And it's 4-1 Canisius. That's a big time hit right there. We've seen him do it twice today already. Big RBI hits. 2-0 the count. And Gallo, I believe that clipped him. It did. Vincent was hit by that pitch. Crowd comes to life again. And the 1-2 swung on and miss. And a big strikeout for Gallo. Miami, John J. Roy Philpot on site at the U. Up the middle. Base knock for Zach Levinson. Second hit of the afternoon. Make it the evening now for Miami. It's four to one affair. Served up the middle, right on cue. Back to back hits for the U. Just a sophomore, he started every game this year. Slow roller to second, should get out of the frame. And a nice play. After I get my undergrad, but one step at a time. Payoff pitch. Look Ooh. at that grab! Wow. Patelli the shortstop. Well, that's a web gym if I've ever seen one, an immaculate reception, diving towards the outfield grass. I mean, that's full extension right here, as we see. Great piece of hitting, I think a low line drive, and full extension right there, living it all on the field. That's what you love to see. And, um, you know, that's a play that's going to definitely energize the Hurricane team to have. Chop, short, Patelli, high toss. And the E6 after the incredible play moments ago. Four to one ball game. Canisius trying to threaten here. And now another runner in scoring position after the walk. A 
Another big moment early in Coral Gables. That one will get away, and it actually hit Max Grant. Toss back to second, and they got him. De Stefano. So that's that's a plus plus. In the hole, right field. Leadoff man aboard for Miami. First time today that's happened. Of the early analysis for 2023, this one hammered to center, and that ball is gone. A two-run jack, and Miami's right back in it. I mean, that was hit on a line, a frozen rope to center field right there by Johan de Morales. Second of the game, home run number 16 on the season. Yo-Yo getting it done. It's the big inning so far for Miami, coming out, coming back. and Let's take a look at Yo-Yo right here, just absolutely clobbers that ball of center field. And he knew it right off the bat. Stays you knew it too, you almost knocked me down yeah. in the booth. <laughs> All seven occasions they've reached the College World Series. This one, blasted, center field. And again, and just like that, we're tied at four. Burt goes yard, his 13th home run of the year. Another frozen broke to center field by Miami. That's an, another impressive piece of hitting. It's been a great game so far. We've seen a lot, of, a little bit of everything. And Patelli, the spin move. And it drew the first baseman, Kafus, off the bag long enough for Stefan to be ruled safe. Back up the middle, could be two. The short, the turn is there, and the twin killing is as well. A little 4 6 3. In search of their first national championship since 01. Off the mound, bobbled by Grant. Leadoff man reaches. He's hit a couple of yo yos. Did he do it again? Straight away center, and it's gone. The hat trick for home runs. Wow. I mean, big time players show up in big time moments, and that was a big time moment right there for Yo Yo Morales and the Miami Hurricanes. Miami has its first lead of the game. A two run bomb. I mean, he's really got the crowd going here, and, and we can really feel that electricity of, of Marlai Stadium. I mean, talk about having a day, and it's not even over yet. You see here the Hurricanes going crazy in the dugout. I mean, we watched this, I mean, just an absolute rocket to center field. And he knew it right away. You see him kind of point one, two, three of, of the third homer. And I mean, that was just an impressive swing right there from an impressive player. And Romero was hit. Came in high and tight. He'll toss the bat. Lined into left field. Base hit. Big turn at second by Romero. He'll make it to third easily. The throw into second comes in late. Two later between Ole Miss and Arizona. Bases are loaded. 50 years old. Up the middle. Base hit. Romero comes home to score. Burke is right behind him. Two more runs score for the U. And the lead now at four runs for Miami. Right here on the edge of campus. Could be two to short. Cush, Grant, and the twin killing retires the side, but the damage has been done. It's been, it's been impressive to watch. Sir, center field, charging as Long, who just checked in. Couldn't come up with a catch. Jacoby Long bats it down. Leadoff man is aboard, and a couple of runners aboard, and let's see what happens, and they will. With the Eagles, the National Football League. That's a base hit into left field. Station to station, bases are loaded with just one out, and now the tying run. Good year this year. Through the hole, left side, and a base hit. One run scores. Kraminski comes home. De Stefano comes up clutch once again. It's now eight to five. Down he goes. First pitch from Walters. Fly ball lifted down the left field line. Play will be we got an out. made, yes. The hat went flying. The hat came off. Burke corralled it. 
for the third out of the frame. Delays and all this happened. They're, they've been stuck in a hotel room, and, and the Hurricane players have, have been just at home. A K for Strahl's the walk on the 3-2. Driven in. Through the hole right side for a base hit. Big turn at second for Kafis. He'll reach third easily. Canes with runners at the corners. Guess who's coming up to bat? Bases are loaded. Morales has not been retired tonight. But they're, they're, they're coming off some success um, in the last half of the season. And that's really what you want to ride, is that, that momentum that you had in the field. He got a great jump going back on a line drive. So to third, booted, a run scores. Bases remain loaded, it's nine to five. Well, Kerminski would love to have that one back. Instead, the inning continues. Six weeks. 2-2, two -two. hammered into left center, right past Cush. Two runs will score. It's 11 to five Miami, and the floodgates have officially opened. That's a big hit right there for, for Miami by Levinson. I mean, he hit that ball really, really, really hard. The comeback ability after facing some early adversity. And not to mention who should be slated to start tomorrow in Carson Palmquist. And with my hard work, just you know, that, that brought confidence in me. And you know, I, I kind of let that play, uh, you know, go out in the game. Whatever was gonna happen was gonna happen, and just always trying to be as prepared as I could. You mentioned Chase Davis to me earlier today. A rocket to right. Oh. And off the carom, that was caught. We got a catch out there in the outfield. Well, Vincent is now standing at third. Mm -hmm. 